Mm. I feel butterflies. It's nothing like good herbal tea. Okay, keep your immune system exactly where it needs to be. You like? This is one of my merch, one of my butterfly <clears throat> coffee mugs. So hello, family. As you see, I'm doing another live reading. Actually, this is going to be a little different. Okay. Today is October 20th, 2021. Tomorrow, I will be uploading the live reading, but I'm going to be uploading this part first. Okay. Um... Just in case something come up, I know I at least kept my word, okay? And if you know, in my community section, please make sure that you, if anybody new happens to be checking in, make sure that you subscribe to your sister, you hit the notification so you know exactly when I'm going to upload, okay, family? And also, uh, make sure you check in my community section because you never know when I'm going to do uh, some reading for my subscribers, okay? Right here, I have posted this a week ago. See that? I posted this a week ago. Oh, many you can see. You go to my community section, you can see it. I have uploaded this a week ago. Okay? And I had like 13 hits, okay, of those that wanted um, a reading, okay? And the way I look at it, first come, first serve, all right? Um, I'm just doing this as a labor of love, okay? I'm always giving back, showing the love, okay? And um, I have 13 of you, and please know I'm going to get to all of you, all right? But I'm going to be going in order, okay? So this is how it looks from the bottom to the top, okay? This is how it looks from the bottom to the top. As far as those that, um, I don't know if you can see it, family. I don't know if you can see it. If you can't see that good, I apologize. All right. And the screen, the screen is very blurry today. I apologize for that. But anyway, don't worry. Um, in the comments section, I'm going to have it listed, the order, okay, as far as the readings that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead. And get started. I decided to, to go this route. That way, if I have to pause and go to the restroom, I can, and my video won't be constantly running, running, running. Okay, family. So, I'm going to today. Um, let me get a sip of this real quick. Mm. Please know there's no coincidence, family. Whatever you're going to hear today, take that which resonate. There are timelines to my reading. Many of you know this already who have been watching your sister. You know how my readings work. A lot of this we're going to be resonating in the present. And if you're scratching your head and a lot of it you're not resonating with, keep it a couple of days, okay? Something about within three when it comes to my reading, okay? Within three days, within three weeks, but definitely within three days or after or a little afterwards, you should be resonating with the information that's coming out. All right. Since this is free, I'm doing this as a labor of love and I do accept donations for those who are in position to give donations. Okay. Sharing is caring. But other than that, I'm doing this as a labor of love. I'm going to be using today. I want to start off by saying, I don't know many of you, you know what it is, but the Spirit knows you, and the Most High God, Source, Divine, already knew you were going to come to me ahead of time anyway for a untimely message. So, for many of you, I'm going to be using the Divine Radiant Deck, okay? As well as the Angel Message. I'm going to be using this one, many of you, okay? Many people love when I use this deck right here, so I'm going to be using this also. So let's go ahead and get started with this <clears throat> reading. Alrighty. I'm going to get my little list together of the names so I can get a feel, because I go by energy, okay? 
So just give me a moment here. All right, family, even though there were 13 um, comments, I only had nine of you. And I posted this a week ago, okay? A week ago, butterflies. So this is the order that I'm going in. You see that? This is the order that I will be going in when it comes to the names, okay? It's nine of you. I wrote your name down. Now, after the video, if I have time for anybody else, once this video is, once I'm through with these nine, okay, butterflies that have responded to the reading, uh, I will live do some additional readings for others, it depends on the time, all right? Because I'm going to upload uh, this at 11 o'clock. And as I stated, depending on the time, I try to make time for those who are still on my live, okay? I won't be able to get to everybody, but I will make an effort, okay? So anyway, as I stated, this is the 20th, and tomorrow I'm going to be uploading this video, okay? Many of you, I cannot pronounce your name. It's okay. I go by energy. <clears throat> the spirit knows who you are, okay? The spirit knows who you are. And thank you all for being so loving and um, patient with your sister. I'm going to turn this bad boy around. I'm going to, as I stated, I'm going to start with the Radiant Deck, okay? Shout out to Divine Vision. And um, just get an idea of who I'm speaking to, okay? Who am I speaking to? All right. The first person I'm going to do, I'm going to fold this real quick. You know I keep it not your name, but I've done a reading on you before, love, okay? I've done a reading on you before. You know who you are, okay? See that? But I'm going to post it on my live. I even have you up here also. Everybody in this down. Post it on my wish, my colleague. I want the spirit to reveal to me something about you, who you are, your qualities. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because I don't make this video too long. Here are some qualities about you, love. The spirit is revealing to me about you. You're cheeky. Now, you might have to Google some of these words, okay, and find out what that means. You're confident. You're assertive. You're learning. So you, you're, you're someone who's definitely a seeker and you probably do a lot of reading and a lot of research, okay? You're peaceful. And lastly, you are very active. I'm sure you're probably uh, extroverted also. 
Not introverted, but extroverted, I'm sure. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and dive into this real quick, the angel deck for you. You can clarity on, on your behavior. The angels have a message for you. Ooh, look at that. What are you using all of that? I put these on top. Okay, you got four. This is your first angel message. This is a ten of fire. Too much work except help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress related health concerns. All of these cards have, have additional meaning, okay? And I will read up on the additional meaning to these cards. Your next card is Queen of Fire. Confidence, warm, intelligent, graceful. And we did see the... Did we see the confident card? I think we did see the confident card. String... I'm sorry. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. In this card is upside down. Upward, this is page of water. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. Now, this card is upside down for a reason. Um, this, it also speaks about um, renewal of something. I don't know if something is going on in your life to where something is ending, you know, um, something that's meaningful to you that has ended, whether it be a relationship or something. But it's upside down for a reason, okay? And don't worry, I'm going to read up <clears throat> the short uh, additional meaning to this card. The next one is the world, our angel Michael. A job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. Wow, that's this is awesome. Okay, you definitely someone that has def, that's definitely putting the work in. Let me just say that the spiritual work in. Okay, so real quick, the ten of fire. I want to read up on that real quick for you. Okay, the ten of fire. This is the additional meaning to this card. Okay, all work and no play, darkness before the dawn, stress related health problems. Um, obsessive behavior and it's pretty much like someone is doing too much of something um, it speaks for itself okay um, just being obsessed over something or, or someone okay um, there is hope for a successful resolution to your situation or project however it's best if you cut unnecessary or burdensome activities from your schedule slow your pace to a more comfortable level okay the next one is Queen of Fire. Now is the time to stretch your wings and really fly. You've been underestimating yourself and your abilities. Believe in all that you can do and accomplish. You are naturally attract other people to assist you. Assert your independence and creativity. People, a person with a magnetic personality who is good-natured, love life, someone with great self-confidence, 
who is astonishing, well-rounded in terms of talent, skills, attractive, warm, intelligent, graceful, capable, active, convincing, difficult to throw off. Okay, do you hear that? You are difficult to throw off. Okay, so you know those who are genuine when you see it. All right. Should nobody be playing you. Okay, the next one is Page of Water. Okay, this one was upside down, okay? But I'm, I'm still going to read up on it because I want you to receive additional meaning to this, okay? Additional meaning, a love letter, imagination, artistic endeavors, important dreams, situation, a new person or emotion arousing situation into your life or could be leaving your life. It's one or the other. It could be the start of a friendship or a romance or the renewal or an ending of one from your past. A current relationship may enter a new phase. It's important to discuss your feelings with those around you. Your intentions and psychic abilities may also be heightened during this time. So if that's the case, if you're very intuitive, uh, you, should, you, should be picking, you should be picking up on BS anyway. As far as anybody that's around you, that's trying to get too close to you, that's not for your highest good. Okay, you should be picking up on that anyway. All I got to say is... Definitely operate your discernment, okay? Whatever you're feeling about somebody, okay? If it don't feel right to you, you know what to do, okay? You know what to do. People, a youth who's emotionally intuitive and sensitive, a person who's gentle, kind, artistic, and sometimes quiet, understanding, friendly. Now, this says introverted, all right? And you could be introverted. Uh, friendly, introverted. Sympathetic, romantic, but this card is upside down, so you might not be introverted. All right, you might not be introverted. It's it's something in here that I read by this card being upside down. Uh, it's something that you're not really experiencing, shall I say, or um, one of these qualities are not yours, shall I say? But this card is upside down for a reason. As I stated, it speaks about beginnings. It speaks about beginnings. It could pertain endings when it comes to your personal life. All right. Or it could be business, okay? But you know your situation. Just take that which resonate, okay? Because this message came out for a reason. And the last card, the world. Our angel Michael. Addition to meaning to this card, perfection, a move to the next level, receiving an award, a new house or job, complete clarity, cosmic awareness, recognition for the use of your talents, freedom. Wow, you've grown spiritually and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe. You experience significant Enlightenment and help expanding your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. You feel a great sense of gratitude. Kudos for you, love. Kudos for you. And if you feel like you're not really actually there yet, you will be. Please know that whatever you're doing, keep putting the work in. Okay? Keep putting the work in. So that's my reading for you today. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Much love to you. And thank you for your love and support in my channel. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Much love and gratitude to you. All right. You see, I got, I got it highlighting who I'm going to do next. You know who you are, love. You know who you are. Okay. All I'm doing is posting the names up. Many of you already know who you are. And I'm doing, um, I don't know how many of you know. I think I did with six. Let me see, one, two, three. I think I did six on that person. But I'm going to wait. I'm doing six. I'm using these right here. I'm doing six cards. And with my angel deck, I'm doing four, okay? Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, family. Definitely subscribe and hit the like button, okay? Because I'm doing this from the kindness of my heart, all right? Just giving back, sharing the love.
Now, love, you know I don't know you, but the spirit knows you, okay? So I just want to get an idea what the spirit wants me to know about you, okay? Ooh. All right. <sighs> According to the spirit, you are family oriented. According to the spirit, you are grateful. According to the spirit, you are lovesick. According to the spirit, you are helpful. According to the spirit, you are growing. And lastly, which we, which we are all not surprised, According to the spirit, you are friendly. And for the spirit to recognize those beautiful qualities about you, I say kudos for you. Okay, kudos for you. Now, let's see what divine messages the angels want to reveal to you today. Okay. Seeking clarity on your behalf. But your guides want you to, you to know your angels. Your first card, it is upside down. This right here is King of Fire. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, or charismatic. Now, you could be all of these qualities. Let me just say that. But this card is upside down for a reason. Okay? Maybe you're not possessing some of these qualities. And maybe the Spirit is actually telling you the, the qualities that they're showing up here that you're not possessing. You know, maybe you should take a look at them. Okay? Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Okay? Now, this card is saying focus, focus, focus. Maybe you are someone who's very focused. Okay? Maybe you are a team leader. All right? The next card is upside down. This is King of Air. Brilliant, impartial, professional, diplomat. The same thing, okay? It's upside down for a reason, okay? Maybe you possess all these qualities, all right? Or maybe some of these other qualities that you should look at, okay? Let's see what it has to say. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental, emotionally, and consider, let's see, consideration. Now, this card is upside down. So, it's letting me know. It's letting me know that you probably someone who do speaks their mind. Okay, and it also lets me know that you're someone who probably is already balanced. You get it? You probably already someone who's balanced. You probably someone who already exercised their throat chakra. You speak your mind. You speak up. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna read the additional meaning to this card. <clears throat> and this card is eight of fire. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once so if you have been waiting on something some news or just waiting period on something things are moving very fast behind the scenes okay i don't know if you've been praying and you're waiting for answers waiting for something to happen please know hold on whatever you are we're living for whatever you're waiting on 
things are moving very swiftly behind the scene. Just be patient, love, okay? Be patient. It looks like you won't have to be waiting too long. That's the point I'm trying to make. Your next card is upside down. It says queen of earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensitive. Okay? Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deals with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. This card was upside down. So according to the spirit, you know, um, it already let me know that you are someone that's family oriented. So you know that this is not pertaining to you. You get it? Because this says make time for those around you. All right. I'm sure you do make time for those around you. And it says deal. And it also says um, de uh, deal with challenges in a more kind and understanding manner. I'm sure you do that. OK. See, when, when, when these cards are upside down, you have to look at it from the perspective of, of how the spirit sees you, okay? When it's upside down, you know, it's the opposite of what the message is saying, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to read the additional meaning to this card, okay? Just take that which resonate. The first card, it is upside down. This is King of Fire, okay? I'm going to leave it upside down. All right, this is King of Fire. Help yours to hear. Focus, focus, focus. Oh, full stream ahead. Devote your energy and time to the task at hand. You're in position of leadership and you inspire others with your enthusiasm. You may also receive advice from someone who excels in creative solution. People, a natural born leader with great Charisma, charm, and flair, often the head of a business or organization that allows him or her to be innovative and accomplish great things. Creative, idealistic, ambitious, influential, motivational, professional, and theatrical. Additional meaning to this card, a entrepreneur, venture, speaking in front of groups, the courage of one conviction, and making a difference. Okay, but this card's upside down for a reason. I don't know if you're someone that has leadership or qualities and you're not operating in that as far as in your life path. Maybe, you know, you're someone that's trying to figure out your life path. Well, this is your answer. Leadership. Leadership. You know, your talent and gifts are in leadership. OK, I don't know if you know that or not. And maybe you do know that, but you would definitely thrive in leadership. All right. By you exercising, you know, these characteristics and I'm sure you possess many, many, many of them. OK, go back and listen to this message again. But when it comes to some of these characteristics, they will be very beneficial. OK, if you take heed, motivational, idealistic, ambitious and charismatic. OK. But according to the spirit, you have leadership qualities. Okay, King of Air, and it is upside down. Let's see what it has to say. Situation, events in your life goes into high speed. Your plans can now be implemented, and you should see a great deal of activities. Intellect and creativity rule the day, so adapt non-traditional viewpoints. Take the time to consider choices carefully. Now listen to this, people, extremely intelligent person who has the ability to act fast and think even faster, a genuine go-getter who is unstoppable in support of a cause, idealistic, decisive, knowledgeable, tireless, assertive, sometimes tactless. Additional meaning to this card, a unattractive, I'm sorry, uh, hold on, okay, an unanticipated situation or conflict, a impulse decision, a knight in shiny armor. Okay. Your next card is Eight of Fire. Hold on tight because things now move into high gear. Past delays are over and your plans manifest with swiftness and energy. You may feel caught off guard as friends activities takes over it's exhilarating and a little overwhelming but it feels good to see your dreams come coming true suddenly you have a lot of things going on too many balls in the air stay grounded your message are received positively right now embrace the spotlight additional meaning receiving needed information inspiration sudden travel and unexpected level of success Woo! kudos for you okay kudos for you 
As you see, the angel benches are on time. The next one is Eight of Earth. No, I'm sorry, Queen of Earth. Let's see what Queen of Earth has to say for you today, okay? All righty, Queen of Earth. This is a situation. Remember to enjoy time with other people. You have much to give, whether to family, friends, or those less fortunate. Handle any challenges with understanding and warmth, but also with confidence and resourcefulness. People, someone who cares about others and is quick to lend a hand. A person who's warm, creative, intellect, and able to efficiently solve problems. Unselfish, family-oriented, sensible, excellent with money, down-to-earth, yet enjoys beautiful things. Wow. That's your reading, love. Much love to you, and thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you. Please make sure you, uh, I'm, I don't know if you subscribe to me or not, but make sure you subscribe. And definitely I'll hit that notification because you never know when I'm going to be doing these readings, okay? Thank you, thank you. And your reading was very beautiful, okay? Whatever you're doing, keep doing it because the God of the universe is acknowledging, you know, all the wonderful attributes that you are giving to others, okay? So thank you and much love to you. All right. <clears throat> I have posted who I'm doing next. This name is very easy to pronounce. I'm going to say Sonia. <laughs> okay. Her name is very easy to pronounce. And just because I don't say y'all name, just know the spirit knows you. Okay. The spirit knows you. That's all that matters. And I'm acknowledging you all because, as I stated, your name will be posted up, okay, per um, reading I'm doing. All right. Let's, let's see who Sonya is. I want the Spirit to reveal to me who is Sonya. All right, let's see who Sonya is. Sonya is supportive. Sonya is curious. Charismatic. Abundance. Wow, Sonya. Now, abundance means many, many, many things to many people, okay? But the fact that this popped up, wow. This is how the Spirit sees you. Abundance, okay? I feel, I'm sure this is how you feel about yourself as well. So you definitely must claim it. Sonya is balanced. So, Sonya, you are balanced mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And lastly, Sonya is focused. You go, girl. All right. What message to the spirit wants Sanya to know? Sanya seeking, seeking clarity on behalf of Sanya. Angel message. Ooh. All 
All righty. Your first card, Sonia, is upside down. This card is Page of Fire. Outgoing, creative, confidence, mischievous, mischievous. <laughs> okay, news of the exciting new Evandor. Use your originality and ingenuity. I'm going to read up on this card. It's upside down for a reason, okay? The next card is the star, our angel Jophiel. Happy times make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path okay happy times make positive optimistic long-term plans on the right path you know what i can't remember this card was upside down or not but let me say this if it was upside down it doesn't mean that everything here is not something that you can't relate to it can it could mean maybe one thing that i spoke about as far as what's what standing out to me is it says make um long term plans. You know what? I'm gonna the spirit do the talking. I'm gonna the spirit do the talking. I wanna leave this upside down. I think it was upside down. The next card is full of fire, contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life. The successful completion of a project. I can't make this up. Look what popped back up, family. Look at that. They popped right back up. Abundance. Contentment, peace, and abundance. A happy home life. The successful completion of a project. The next card is King of Water. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity works. Okay. Now I'm going to read up on each card so Miss Sonia can receive clarity. What the spirit is saying. Just take that which resonates, Sonia. But you know, my sister, uh, my readings do have timelines to them. Okay. A lot of times people come back to me a week or two weeks later and they be like, you know what? You just said something in that reading and it finally came to pass. So keep all of that in mind. All right. Page of Fire. Situation. An exciting new opportunity comes your way. The angels guide you to wholeheartedly embrace the new and ever doors. It may seem like a challenge, but it's you're, I'm sorry, I got tongue twisted. It may seem like a challenge, but it's one you're ready for. Dazzle people with your originality and ingenuity. People, a youth who's outgoing, creative, and passionate about life. Someone with enthusiastically seek out new experience and can make things happen. Optimistic, confident, courageous, exhilarating, busy, busy and mischievous. Addition to me to this card, good news, a creative project, believing in yourself. And that's really one thing that stood out to me, believing in yourself. Now, I'm not saying that you don't believe in yourself, Sonya, but this card's upside down for a reason. If you've been feeling some type of way, um, maybe not feeling confident, in, you know, as, as confident as you should feel, the spirit wants you to know you have what it takes, okay, my sister, to believe in yourself, okay? Believe in yourself. You got this, whatever this is, okay? Whether it be personal or business, you got this. So continuously to believe in yourself. Stay confident, stay courageous, all right? And definitely stay optimistic, okay? All right, the next card is the star. It's upside down. Let's see what it has to say. Go ahead with your pointy star. The angels say you have a... You have every reason to feel hope and happy expectation. Believe in your dreams. Okay, you hear that, Sonya? Believe in your dreams and look to your future with optim optimism. Too tired. I get tongue twisted. I, I am so sorry. Um, it says, look to your future with optimism, excitement, and confidence. Challenging times are now behind you and brighter Times are ahead. Make your plans with the long-term view in mind. Now is the time to envision your life 
the way you want it to be and to take action in the direction, the expectations you create for yourself and the planet, planet and fertile soul. Trust and follow your intuition as it's right <clears throat> on target. Additional meaning to this card, faith, a sense of purpose, a prosperous new beginning, being on the right path. Now, this card is upside down. The only thing I can think of is continuously to operate in faith. Okay, sign it. And um, trust your intuition also. Okay, as far as choice that you have to make, continually to continuously trust your intuition. Okay, it will not steer you wrong. Okay. And definitely uh, operate with confidence. Okay, the four of fire. You work hard and now rewarded with contentment, peace, and abundance. The freedom your success has offered you provides deep feelings of satisfaction. You're Safely navigated your way through the obstacles to a place you can feel proud of. Matters at home are rewarding. Someone may be getting married or planning to move in with a partner. Peace and harmony have been established and now you seek stability and commitment. Addition to meaning a milestone event in your career, a successfully completed project, counting your blessings, feeling elated, engagement, marriage, or honeymoon. Wow, wow, wow. So it looked like things are turning turning around for the better, okay? And if you're not seeing that, you will be seeing it, okay? In the last card, King of Water. Situation. You're a natural counselor who listens to people and offers them comforting and kind words. Born of your experience, open your mind to the idea of others and be accepting of those who are different from you. It may be time to volunteer for charity work to help those less fortunate than yourself. Excellent advice may be offered to you by someone you can completely trust. Follow his or her suggestion carefully. <clears throat> Did you hear that, Sonia? Let me read that one more time. Excellent advice may be offered to you by someone you can completely trust. Follow his or her suggestion carefully. People, someone wise and compassionate with a rich inner life, a person with quiet authority who can see the truth and meaning behind any situation and provide a perfect solution that's both intelligent and heartfelt, trustworthy, culture, respected, reliable, Accomplished and emotionally available. Addition to me to this card, a trustworthy romantic partner, a meteor, a mediator, cult, cultured interests such as arts and music, an upstanding member of society. Wow. So there you go, Miss Sonya. Thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you, love. Much love to you. Thank you for your love and supporting my channel. I appreciate you. And I wish you all the best. Please know that. And whatever you're doing, keep doing it. As you see, <clears throat> the spirit is hearing you. The angels are hearing you, okay? Look like things are turning around for your highest good, okay? Just keep on walking the path that you're on, love, okay? Keep on operating your intuition and also walk in a state of confidence as well as operating with your intuition. It will not stir you wrong. So much love to you, and I wish you all the best. Alrighty. You're next, love. You're next. Okay. I think it was that Cassie. You know who you are. The spirit knows who you are. Alrighty. Spirit knows who you are. Please know that. Who is Cassie? Is it Casey? Cassie? Let's see. 
what the spirit wants to know about you. Excuse me, Casey L or Cassie L. What the spirit wants me to know about you. This is KCL. Who is KCL? Truthful. Adventurous. Honorable. Grateful. Affectionate. And lastly, understanding. Nice to meet you, Casey. Cassie. If I'm missing your name, I apologize. I go by energy. The spirit knows who you are. Seeking clarity for Casey. Seeking clarity for Casey. Alrighty, let's get with it. Your first card is upside down. This is Five of Fire. Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. But your card is upside down, okay? Don't worry, I'm going to read the additional meaning to this card. The main thing, take that which resonates, because it came out for a reason. Reading this card is upside down. Three of fire. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. But it's upside down. Okay? And anytime a card is upside down, it could just mean that it's something that the spirit wants you to look at. Okay? It's something the spirit wants you to look at, or maybe you're not experiencing any of these, and it could be a reason why you're not experiencing any of these, okay? So look at it from that perspective. Well, I say, I don't say any of them, I say maybe some of it. Your next card is Nine of Fire. Don't, uh, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Do you hear that, Casey? Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Your last card is upside down. Eight of air. An illusion of being trapped. A lack of self-confidence. Afraid to take action. So this card is upside down. So it wants you to look at something, okay? It wants you to look at something. The main thing I'm seeing here is spirit wants you to have confidence, okay? That's pretty much what I'm seeing with this with these messages. And the spirit, um, well, I let the spirit do the talking. Your first card is five of fire. You're experiencing some challenges. Other people around you hold different goals and values, and their disagreements as to how to proceed along with a cash of, clash of will. Success is still possible, but it takes great effort. You may enjoy this type of challenge or it may be exhausting to you. This is a competitive situation. It will be necessary for everyone to try to understand one another viewpoint. There is a need for clarity and 
order to come to a resolution. Addition of meaning to this card, athletic competition, Newsom, the need to set priority, being caught in the middle, bothersome details. The next card is Three of Fire. Congratulations, this is your golden time of celebration and success. However, it's not the mo moment to rest yet. You need to keep going with the next project. So step back and review all that you've done, then create a blueprint for the future. You need to look at things with an eye to the long term. Now this card is upside down. It's upside down for a reason. Now listen to this part right here. You need to look at things with the eye to the long term. You probably feel good about your about how far you've come, but no resting on your laurels. It's important to keep your fire of enthusiasm burning for the height you might still attain. Patience may be required while you wait pursuit from your I'm sorry. Patience may be required while you result from your previous decision. Your previous decision, use this time to explore the possibilities for how to promote your business or talents. Additional meaning, managing people, a thriving business, self-satisfaction, seeking wise counseling, take an important job, business travel. The next one, nine of fire. You put a lot of work and energy into the situation. This card comes as a sign for you to actively protect what you've created and earned. Have courage and believe in your abilities and right to defend the fruit of your labor. Strengthen your resolve and don't give up. You possess the wisdom and stamina to bring the situation to an agreeable conclusion. However, it's important to open your mind to the assistance and point of view of others. Additional meaning to this card, being prepared, physical strength, feeling of paranoia and tiredness. The last card, Eight of Air. You needn't stay in your present situation if you're unhappy. Although you may feel there is no way out, look again. There are plenty of possibilities for freeing yourself from this, from this situation in a healthy, harmonious way. First, though you may, I'm sorry, first though you must feel more confident about your abilities. Believe in yourself and keep your thoughts positive right now. The key to Freedom and success at this time is to see the truth of the situation and then to act with faith. Do you hear that, Casey? The key to freedom and success at this time is to see the truth of the situation and then to act with faith. Additional meaning, confusion, feeling helpless, the tendency to see oneself as a victim, being afraid to take action. It's time for you to take action. Okay, take action and operate with, with, with confidence. Okay, if the spirit say you have it in you, you have it in you. All right, but it is for you to believe in yourself. Much love and blessings to you, Casey. Thank you for trusting me to do this reading for you. Please watch um, this reading as much as you like. I'm not going to take it down. Okay, I always leave my readings up just in case anybody can always go back to them and um. Reflect, shall I say, okay? So this message was for you, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one is what, Marcella? I think Marcella Jackson. All righty. As you see, family, I'm going down the list. You see them going down the list, family.
Hello, Marcella. Welcome, welcome, love. You don't know I don't know you, but the spirit knows you. I want to see what the spirit has to say about you on a deeper level. Who is Marcella? Who is my seller? Growing. Kind. Helpful. Family oriented. I am too, Marcella. Healing. Friendly. Wow, you have some beautiful qualities about you, Marcella Jackson. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's see what your angel message are for today. You can receive some clarity as well as some guidance. I do read cards upside down also. I just want to make sure that these cards are shifted properly. Give me a minute, family. Oh, I'm going to turn it around. Your first card is upside down. This is Page of Water, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins at a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. And this card has already came out for somebody. And this card was upside down. I forgot who it was, okay? But don't worry, I'm still going to read the additional meaning to this card. It's upside down for a reason, okay, Marcella? So just take that which resonate. I'm going to read on this card, the backup meaning, okay, so you understand why it's upside down. Uh, it speaks about a new person. It pretty much speaks about like beginnings, but it could be the uh, endings to something or or maybe person on a personal level, or uh, ending of a relationship. I don't know yet, but um, it's upside down for a reason, okay? I'm going to read the additional meaning to this card. The next card is the world, our angel Michael. A path, a, eh, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. Kudos for you. You're someone who's definitely putting the work in, the spiritual work in. Let me just say that. Your next card is upside down. Eight of Earth. Skill work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. Okay. Now this card speaks about someone who's thinking about going back to school. I don't know if you are in school. Maybe you're thinking about going back to school, but it's upside down for a reason, okay? It speaks about skill work, okay? Somebody has a background into, um, <clears throat> into some type of skill, all right? I'm going to read the additional meaning on this card. Your last card, it is three of earth. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. See how I keep saying work? The power of Creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. Woo, woo. 
alrighty. So I'm going to read up on this card first. This is the page of water. Alrighty, Marcella, I'm doing page of water. Have ears to hear. A person, I'm sorry, a new person or emotion arousing situation enters your life. It could be the start of a friendship or a romance or an ending is one or the other, okay? It could be the start of a friendship or romance or the renewal of one from your past. A current relationship may enter a new phase. It's important to discuss your feelings with those around you. Your intuition and psychic abilities may also be heightened during this time. People, a youth who's emotionally intuitive and sensitive, a person who's gentle, kind, artistic, and sometimes quiet, understand, understanding, friendly, introverted, sympathetic, and romantic. Additional meaning, a love letter, imagination, artistic endeavors, important dreams. So definitely pay attention to your dreams, okay? Because they have the whole messages. Keep a journal next to your bed. Write your dreams down. It may not make sense to you at the time, but please know in the coming days and weeks ahead, you will have an aha moment and you will understand what those dreams are, are trying to convey to you, okay? If you're someone who can't remember your dreams, pray about it, okay? Pray about it. You know, ask Source, the Most High God, um, the all there is um, to help you um, set your attention, set your attention before you go to bed at night that you want to remember your dreams and you will, okay? Just make sure you have that pen and pad next to your bed. Write them down. No matter how silly they may seem, write your dreams down. If you see colors, write them down. If you see numbers, write them down because there are meaning to them. Colors and numbers, you can Google them and get the answers, okay? All right, that's how the spirit realms um, can communicate to all of us. It's through our dreams, okay? In meditation as well, as it's through our dreams. Um, your next card is the world. The angel sent you this card because you're happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done. You're, I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, I apologize, Marcella. My phone went off. The angel sent you this card because you're happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done. You're now ready to move on to something new. Enjoy your feelings of wholeness and completion and give yourself a pat on the back for your amazing accomplishments. You're grown spiritually and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe. You experience the significance, enlightenment, and have expanded your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. You feel a great sense of gratitude. And the Spirit did tell us that about you. Go back and look at those cards that came out. Additional meaning of this card, perfection, a move to the next level, receiving a reward, a new house or job, complete clarity, cosmic awareness, recognition for the use of your talents and freedom. Kudos to you, Marcella. Now, let me say this real quick. When I tell you, not speaking to you about the page of um, water, when I, talk, when I was talking about your dreams, I'm sure you know that already, okay? As your sister in the spirit, I just want to, you know, give you a little push. You know, make sure you pay attention to your dreams, okay? Because they have messages for you. But you know this already, okay? You know this already. Okay, your next card, it is upside down. This is the eight of earth, okay? All I'm doing pretty much give you confirmation what you already know. Okay, eight of earth. It's upside down for a reason. Okay, Marcel, let's see what it has to say. Just take that with you resonate. Your heart is in your work or studies. You're committed to learning about your career, vocation, or projects. You're definitely on the right track. Your dedication, skills, and talents are appreciated, and you will soon be rewarded. Still, there's more to learn. Consider taking classes related to your interests or profession. Now, this card is upside down for a reason. And this could be why right here. Still, there's more to learn. Consider taking classes related to your interests 
or profession. A serious commitment to studies or research is now called for. It may be time to go back to school. Additional meaning, craftsmanship, apprenticeship, diligence, attention to details. The last card, Three of Earth. The situation you're acquiring about can succeed with hard work and good planning. You may receive recognition or a award for your great talents and skills. Focus upon work that involves your compassion. I'm sorry, that involves your passion and carry it out to the best of your abilities. Your creativity is highly rewarded. You may join a group or organization. It's important to be a team player and cooperate with others on this project. Additional meaning, creating something beautifully or of high quality, moving up in your career, teaching others a skill, being a artist. Yeah, you have it, Marcella. This is your angel message. Much love to you. And you know what to do. All of this, what I'm doing is giving you confirmation, what you already know. Okay, my sister is giving you confirmation of what you already know and also bring you a little bit of clarity. Okay, so I wish you all the best. Much love to you. And thank you for letting me do this reading for you. And bye for now, beautiful. Bye for now. Thank you. And please make sure you um, like and subscribe. Okay, much love to you. And thank you for your love and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. All right, that was Marcella Jackson. Next, we have, I think it's Dan Dan Danielle. Danielle. Let me see, I think I have it over here. Okay, Danielle. Hello, Danielle. All right, I want to know who I'm doing a reading on. Let the spirit reveal to me who you are. Okay. Danielle is transparent. Family, what you see is what you get with Danielle. You hear me? Danielle, do not put a mask on. Danielle is like, hey, this is me. Okay? Love me or leave me. This is me. Danielle is transparent. Danielle is enthusiastic. Danielle is happy. Danielle is assertive. And yell is free spirit. That's good to know. You, you don't, you're not in the box. Let me just say that. Then y'all think outside the box. And lastly, Danielle is cheeky. Danielle, you're gonna have to Google this, okay? <laughs> Google the word love, okay? All right. What is your angel message for today? Seeking clarity and guidance for Danielle. 
13 diamonds for the middle. Your first card is upside down. This is the moon card, our angel Haniel. Important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes. Release fears that holds you back. Okay? Say release fears that holds you back. But your card is upside down. So it could be telling me that. You're presently not dealing with this right here as far as when it comes to your fears. I'm sure you're someone that's not operating as far as fear base. Okay? Now this because when it's upward, this speaks about someone who's presently operating as far as um when it comes to their fears that's affecting them, okay? But it seems to me, you know, you're not operating fear base. Now, this has additional meaning. And when it comes to the moon card, things are not always what it seems to be, okay? It speaks about illusion as well. Um, I'm going to read up on this card, Danielle. So just hold it right there, okay? But it's pretty much the opposite of what I just read, okay? Your next card is Unity, our angels and Zendafon. Traditional viewpoint on methods. Spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends and definitely on the path that you're on you definitely want to seek out people who are spiritually spiritually like-minded like yourself um the support alone goes is, is very um helpful let me just say that there's nothing it's not like um talking with people and being around those who gets you if you know if you know what i mean um just being around those that can relate to you, it is very helpful. Okay, it makes you not feel alone. Let me just say that. Because on the spiritual path, you can't just talk to anybody. Please know that. Because everybody's just at different places in their life, okay? But um, yeah, it would definitely be very beneficial for you if you just um get to that place of, you know, seeking out those that um you can vibe with, shall I say, okay? They're on a similar path that you're on, okay? Just seeking that, you know, support. That's all. The next card is Ego, Archangel Jophiel. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts, okay? The next card is Upside Down. This is Four of Earth. Being too fervorous or... To caution with money, good business decision, giving to those less fortunate. Okay, I think this card's upside down. I'm gonna read up on each card. Just take that what you resonate. The first card is the moon. It is upside down. Everyone experiences times in their lives when they're afraid. Or insecure. Sometimes these fears are based on external factors you see and hold on. I lost my train of thought. Sometimes these fears are based on external factors you see, and sometimes worry stems from irrational or unreal concerns. In both cases, it's important to go within and listen to your intuition as to what to do next. Ask your inner self about the source of your anxiety and trust your guidance. The angel sent you this card because this is a time of powerful intuition and psychic abilities. However, your greatest insight will be about yourself. Embrace the spirit of self-awareness to overcome past blocks that have held you back. Awaken to truth about yourself that you kept hidden and see your brilliant light. Additional meaning, paying attention to your dreams, unseen events that are affecting your illusion. Do you hear that? This is called Upside Down for a reason, Danielle. Pay attention to your dreams, unseen events that are affecting your illusion. Okay?
And also it speaks about also like past hidden blocks. You know, a lot, a lot of people experience, not saying it's you, but a lot of people experience like traumas in their past, childhood on up, you know, whatever that means to the individual. And it can affect us if we haven't healed from them, okay? Um, so I've, I've, I'm, this, that's popping up in my spirit, all right? So anyway, um, it's more to this reading, but, you know, for other things to come out, I'll have to do like a full thorough reading with you. But I feel like enough was said, okay? The next card is a unity card. Pretty much anything that could be holding you back, whatever the case may be, you know, um, those shadow layers of us, um, things that we put a band-aid on that we don't face, try to, you know, face it head on. Because it's, that's how we're able to grow when we face our issues, you know, because everybody have issues. But when we face it head on, it helps us to grow and get past those stumbling blocks so we can move to the next level. Okay. Your next card is um, Unity. Working in groups enriches you right now. You drew this card because it's time for you to expand your circle of friends or join a group. For example, you may want to enroll in school or become part of a spiritual organization. This is also an optimal time to make friends and supportive with supportive new people who have integrity and a strong moral compass. It's also time to question and review any rules, restriction, or limited beliefs that have been placed around your current situation by you or by others to make sure that you're fair to everyone involved. This can lift any previous blocks to the manifestation of your goals. In addition to me to this card, expert or mentor, the search for meaning in life, having faith in groups or people, school and spiritual institution. The next card is ego. <clears throat> the angels want you to know that the entrapment you're feeling isn't real. This card indicates that a lot of your feelings are streaming from anxiety that aren't based in reality. So give your fears to God and the angels and ask for their help in adapting to a more positive perspective on this situation. The card also indicates that you're focused upon the material things in life. Heaven knows have acknowledged that you, like everyone, have physical needs. However, your attention to the accumulation of possession is out of balance. Recess why you want to acquire those things. Perhaps you are trying to fill an emotional void with material objects could never do. What you're really craving is inner peace through a spiritual path. Additional meaning, refusal to face the truth or to take personal responsibilities for the situation, addiction, temptation, dependency, or excessive debt. The last card, Four of Earth. This can be a card of extreme. It may be a cautionary message to take care of your resources. Perhaps it's time to create a savings account or review your spending habits. It's also possible that you're too financially conservative. Additional, additional, additionally, this is a message to donate time or money to charities and worthy causes. Your Hard work is paying off, but stay alert to new possibilities. Change is inevitable and can bring newfound source of abundance. Be open to new and exciting opportunities. Don't let fear-based thoughts limit your actions. Additional meaning to this card, good business decision or investment, large purchases, purchases penny pension, fear, fears that what you've accumulated will be lost. So that's your message, love. I wish you all the best. Much love to you, Danielle. Thank you, thank you for letting me do this reading for you. Just take that which resonate. Okay, love. And thank you for your love and support in my channel. Much love to you.
Okay, next I'm going to do Maria Renee, my sister in the spirit. As you see, family, I, I never know what the spirit is going to reveal in these um, readings. Um, just take that which resonates, family. Um, none of the readings are is in a uh, place of judgment. We all know this, okay? Um, but the angel message, what I like about it, you know, um, it speaks to us in a very kind way. You know, at the, at the end of the day, it's what we do about our situation that determines everything, okay? We either heed the messages or we don't. But for many of you who are watching me, you know, you took the time to, you know, watch, you know, uh, you... Uh, You operated in your free will to come to me. So I truly believe that, you know, you will heed what the Spirit is saying and operate from this day forth as far as making um, better positive choices that are for your highest good, okay? Because it's not what I say. It's, it's, it's what you do about it that's going to determine everything. And um, that many of you have some beautiful qualities about you. So it's an honor to do these readings for you. All righty. Maria Renee. All right, family, who is Maria Renee? What the spirit wants to know about Maria Renee today? Who still wants to know about Maria Renee today? Ooh, one just popped on out. Ooh. I'm going to use all of these, but I use six of them. I'm doing six on all of you. I'm going to turn that one around. Okay. All right. Maria Renee. Maria is nurturing. Maria is experience. Maria is fit. You go, girl. <laughs> The Spirit said Maria is fit. Maria is compassionate. Yes, she is. Maria is emotionally available. Okay? She's someone that you can walk up to and she won't look down on you or anything. Okay? She has a listening ear. And lastly, Maria is faithful. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, Maria, let me see what your angel message is for you today, my sister. Seeking clarity and guidance. Okay. The first card is Ten of Fire. Too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress related health concerns. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to read a bonus card, Maria. You know how I work, okay? Because these cards have additional meaning, okay? Your next card, Queen of Fire, confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. 
Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Oh no, my thing is my charger. Hold on, family. Let me put my charger on. All right, family. I had to move this over and plug my um tablet in. Okay, we had seven of fire. Okay, it says. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battle wisely. The next card, the last one, is upside down. This is Knight of Air. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your option. Creative solution. But it's upside down now. It's upside down for a reason. Don't worry. I'm going to read up on this card. Okay. So I'm, the first one, I'm going to just set it like that. That's 10 of fire. You're working too hard and have put in too many hours. There's need to balance the professional and personal side of your life. You're trying to do too much. A good first step is to be willing to accept assistance from others. There's hope for a successful resolution to your situation or project. However, it's best if you're however it's best if you cut unnecessary or burdensome activities from your schedule. Slow your pace to a more comfortable level. Additional meaning to this card. All work and no play, darkness before the dawn, stress-related health problems, obsessive behavior. And I'm sure you do this, Marie. Make sure you take time out for yourself, okay, love? Because stress and worrying um, can, can cause health-related issues. It really can. But you know what to do. Um, Queen of Fire. And you know uh, meditation is definitely good to relieve stress, okay? And getting out in nature and walking around. Okay, Queen of Fire. Situation. Now it's a time to stretch your wings and really fly. You've been underestimating yourself and your abilities. Believe in all that you can do and accomplish. You naturally attract other people to assist you. Assert your independence and creativity. People. A person with a magnetic personality who is good nature and loves life. Someone with great self-confidence who is astonishing, well-rounded in terms of talent and skill. Attractive, warm, intelligent, graceful, capable, active, convincing, difficult to throw off. Additional meaning, trusting your intuition. Balancing home and career, a desire for attention and recognition. I know that's right. Okay, the next card is Seven of Fire. Stand your ground, don't back down. You might need to defend your beliefs or decisions, and you will be successful. It's important to assert yourself and go for what you want. There's strength and adversary. I'm sorry, there's strength and adversity, and you've got what it takes. Stand up for your convictions. Stay alert and vigilant. Don't drop your guard just because you're in the right. Others may envy what you possess, additional meaning. Choosing your battle wisely, learning to say no, self-confidence, courage, challenging those in power, perseverance. The key word, stand your ground, okay? That's the key word, stand your ground. Um, the last one, night of air. No, let's see. Yeah, night of air. Night of air. Okay. Situation. Events in your life go into high speed. Your plans can now be implemented and you should see a great deal of activities. Intellect and creativity rule the day. So adapt non-traditional viewpoints. 
Take the time to consider choices carefully. People, an extremely intelligent person who has the ability to act fast and think even faster, a genuine go-getter who is unstoppable in support of a cause, idealistic, decisive, knowledgeable, tireless, assertive, sometimes tactless. Additional meaning in anticipated situation or conflict, an impulsive decision, a knight in shining armor. So there you have it, my sister. And if you're not seeing any of this right now, <laughs> be on high alert. At the end of the day, operate in self-confidence. Know you got what it takes. And um, don't back down, okay? Do not back down. And definitely put yourself first. And um, make sure you get plenty of rest. You know, uh, get that meditation in and get out in nature, okay? It heals like no other. But you know what to do, love. Much love to you, my sister. And you know I wish you all the best. And thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you. Much love to you, Maria. All right, I got two more to go. Now, I got what? Lauren, L-O-R-I-N. What the spirit wants to know about Lauren? Who's Lauren? Okay. Lauren is courageous. Lauren is devoted. Lauren is caring. Lauren is invested. Okay. Lauren is open. And Lauren is gentle. Beautiful qualities, beautiful qualities. Many of you have beautiful qualities about you. Okay, let's get Lauren some angel messages, okay? Some guidance for Lauren. Getting clarity and guidance on behalf of Lauren. Your first card is upside down. This is Nine of Air. Expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights. Now, your card is upside down for a reason. Don't worry. I'm going to read the additional meaning to this card, okay? The main thing, have a listening ear, okay? Because the Spirit is always giving us guidance in these messages, okay? Your next card is upside down. This is Night of Fire, passionate, adventurer, adventurous, self-assured, restless. A sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully but it's upside down i'm going to read the additional meaning to this card your next card is awakening our angel gabriel look at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill it's important to what be yourself 
And it says a temporary standstill. And it's important to be yourself. The last card is upside down. This is five of earth. Fear surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. But it's upside down. It has additional meaning. Let's see what it has to say. Okay. The first card I'm going to read up on is nine of air. It's upside down for a reason. It is upside down for a reason, Lauren. Let's see what it has to say. Alrighty, Lauren. We're gonna do we're gonna read up on nine of air. Positive thinking is essential right now. Your own obsessive negative thoughts are the true culprit behind the truth, behind the trouble you fear. Release your gut and realize that regret is a waste of emotion. Turn your attention to the amazing possibilities for the future and leave the past behind. I feel like I need to read that again, okay? Take that which resonate, my sister. This card came out for a reason, okay, love? Pos positive thinking is essential right now. Your own obsessive negative thoughts are the true culprit behind the troubles you fear. Release your guilt. I think I say go good, but release your guilt and realize that regret is a waste of emotion. Turn your attention to the amazing possibilities for the future and leave the past behind. Leave the past behind. If you're having unpleasant dreams at this time, write them in a journal, bless them for the desires to inform you, and then send them to the angels. If you're, if depression is an issue, encourage those affected to seek professional counseling. Additional means to discard sleepless, racing thoughts, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, worry, stress-related illness. And this card is upside down. This is Night of Fire. A significant situation requires your immediate and full attention. While time is of the essence, it's important to avoid making rash decisions. Enthusiasm and self-assuredness are wonderful, so long as they aren't separated from wisdom and caution. People, a person who's passionate about anything he or she takes on, a take-charge individual who moves quickly with confidence and certainty on behalf of loved ones or beloved causes, fearless, loyal, charismatic, self-assured, adventurous, restless, possible, impatient, or insistent when it comes to having his or her own way. Addition to meaning, a sudden, passionate love affair, business, travel, a change, a residency, a, an emergency. Okay. The next card is Awakening. It's time to review your plans according to this card and look at things from a new perspective. Ask yourself, is it possible that a different approach would be would work better. Although it may feel like events have come to a standstill, this is temporary, so make use of the extra time you've been given to rethink your strat strategy. You may need to step outside of the norm and the mainstream right now and embrace your unique and elated beliefs or attitude. It's also a it's also a good moment to be generous with your time, attention, and gifts. This tithing is returned by the universe many folds to you. Additional meaning, epiphanies, selfishness, selfishness, selfishness. Okay, I get tongue twisted. I apologize. Selfishness. Selflessness, you don't go on with this. Unexpected life changes, the need for patience, the power that lies in being oneself, unusual solution. Then the last card is Five of Earth.
You're to focus upon what you don't have. A mentality of lack is creating a lack reality. Though the law of the attraction help is close by, but your permission is preventing you from recognizing it. It's time to release your thoughts, the words you use, and your beliefs about money. Stop complaining and accept any assistance that's offered. Fortunately, matters are going to improve and your unpleasant feelings are only temporary. In the meantime, it's important that you care for your physical and emotional health. Addition to this card, uncertain self-employment, financial downturns, unsuccessful legal battles. Read it one more time. Addition to this card, uncertain self-employment, financial downturns, unsuccessful legal battles. All right, Miss Lauren, I wish you all the best, love. And if things are kind of like, you know, um, you may not be feeling maybe too lucky, lucky, lucky right now, please know the will of faith is going to turn right back in your favor. Please know that. Um, like the message say, you know, um, things are going to turn around soon and very soon when you least expect it. Okay, just um, keep the faith and... Um, Listen to this message over again. A lot of times we listen and things go in one ear, not the other. Okay, there are time after my reading. A lot of this you are experiencing now. And a lot of this you will be experiencing. Please know that. But the main thing is what you do from this day is going to determine everything. Okay, make sure you're operating as far as when it comes to your thoughts. Okay, is our thoughts, our emotions, and is our emotions, our actions. Make sure you move forward being positive. Okay, um, and thinking positive. That's that's definitely um, important. Okay. And I wish you all the best. I do see things turning around for you soon and very soon. Please know that. Okay. It's going to get better. And I'm sure it is starting to get better. Okay. Whether you see it or not, things are going to definitely start turn around um, in your favor. Okay. But you must get your mind in check and think positive. Okay. Flip, flip that negative into a positive. All right. When it comes to lemonades, make when it comes to lemons, as they say, make lemonades out of it, all right? So you know what to do, love. And watch this video over again and listen to the messages, okay? Because there are some key advices that angels are trying to get to you, okay? I wish you all the best. Much love to you. And um, remember, this card right here, it says, okay, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, okay? And it's important to be yourself. A temporary standstill. Keep that in mind, okay? Nothing lasts forever. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So much love to you. Thank you, Lauren. I wish you all the best love. Thank you for your love and support in my channel. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button. Alrighty, and I have here Miss Amy, A-M-I-E. Spirit wants to know about Miss Amy. Amy, you are my last love. You're number nine. Who is Amy? What does Spirit wants to know about Amy? Who is Amy? And make sure many of you comment down there, okay? Give me a little feedback, all right? I appreciate it. <sighs> Who is Amy? Amy, no, I don't know her, but the spirit knows her. All right, the spirit knows Amy. All right. Okay, let's see who Amy is. Diplomatic. Intelligent. This is how the spirit sees you, Amy, okay? Honorable. Honorable. 
artistic. Amy, are you someone who paints? Are you someone who loves to sing? You love music? Do you play music? Okay, are you an artist? Adventurous. And detoxing. Good for you, Amy. According to the spirit, you are detoxing. Now, this can mean many things to many people. It can mean you put no things behind you that are not your highest good. Okay? Whether it be people or things. Okay? Or you could be just detoxing your system. Okay? But whatever this means to you, according to the spirit, you are detoxing. Okay? All right. Now, speaking of clarity and guidance, using the angel message for Amy. All right, Amy, this is your four card angel message. I thank you all for being so patient. I appreciate you. As you see, this is a labor of love. I'm going on what? Two hours? I did nine readings within two hours. All righty. So, your first one is upside down. This is two of air. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Okay? If this is not you, it could be someone that's close to you. Okay? That's pretending there is no problem that is acting as a stalemate. Okay? But this card is upside down for a reason. Take that which resonates. I will read up on this card. Your next card is upside down. The sun, our angel, your Ariel. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that leads to success. Have confidence in yourself. Okay? It's upside down. I'm going to read up on this card. Night of water, emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative, falling in love, or wedding proposal, the need to balance emotion. An invitation to a social event. Okay. Then the last card, Ace of Earth. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. And we definitely want to pay attention to this message right here. It's talking about documents and contracts. Okay. So, uh, when it comes to that, you definitely want to be paying attention to the fine print. Please know that. The fine details. So, I'm going to read up on each card. I have ears to hear. Your first card is two of air. I'm going to leave it upside down. Give me a minute. You're struggling with a decision. You have conflicting emotions or thoughts about which way to move. So you're avoiding to making choices. Intuitively, you know what to do, but you're afraid to act in at a impasse. Have faith in your own wisdom and move forward. There's a stalemate between parties. Compromise is called for. Find an impartial mediator, mediator to forge a resolution. Additional meaning to this card, overanalyzing a situation, pretending there is no problem, complex negotiation, self doubt okay so if you are dealing with some type of conflict or a resolution that need to be solved between you and another party whether it's business or some you know personal you know your significant other or whatever um the spirit say compromise okay and find a um, or find a uh, mediator, somebody in the middle that can listen to both sides. Okay, somebody that's outside of the situation 
that can look in. A lot of times someone from the outside looking in can, you know, um, resolve the matter better, you know, give you more, um, them give you their perspective. You know, uh, you, you might understand that more than, you know, you trying to make your case and they're trying to make their case. A lot of times one ear is closing, okay? And it's like that when it comes to things like that. A lot of times people close their ear, they hear what they want to they hear what they want to hear. But at the end of the day, whatever this means to you, when it comes to this message, the spirits say compromise, okay? And also have faith in your own wisdom as far as moving forward. All right. Uh the next card is the sun is upside down. Because sometimes an outsider can give you a better perspective. That's, that's the point I'm trying to make. Okay. The sun. This card indicates that it's wonderful time for you. You're succeeding in ways you never dreamed possible. Endeavors that you begin now are blessed with abundance and success. Keep your thoughts positive and everything will turn out beautifully. This is also a time of brilliant new ideas and solutions. Have confidence in yourself. The work you've done personally and spiritually bring astonishing changes to your life. You're on the right path for your own enlightenment. Okay? Now, this card upside down for a reason, so take that which resonates. It doesn't mean you're not on the right path, but take that which resonates as far as the key messages, okay? Uh, that your spirit is trying to convey to you. Additional meaning, joy, public recognition, the attainment of great personal insight, vibrant physical and or emotional health. Well, I, what I'm getting about this message right here, Amy, because it's upside down, okay? It says keep your thought positive. And I'm not saying that you're not thinking positive, okay? But this card came out for a reason. Keep your thoughts positive and everything will turn out beautifully. Okay? That's, that's what's popping up in my spirit more than anything when it comes to this message right here. Make sure you maintain a positive you know, attitude, all right? No matter what, because you must think it for it to manifest, period, okay? No matter what's going on, keep the thought positive at this time, okay? And it says this is also a time of brilliant new ideas and resolution. Have confidence in yourself. So keep your thought positive and have confidence in yourself, okay? All right, the next card is Knight of Water. <clears throat> situation, deep emotion arising from situation or relationships impacts your life. Falling in love or a wedding proposal is possible. You or someone close to you need to balance your emotion. Least you become overwhelmed. You may receive invitation to a party or other social opportunities. People, an extremely emotional person who's driven by love of romance, arts, and beauty. Someone who is charming, competitive, I'm sorry, contemplative, and idealistic, sensitive, romantic, imaginative, enthusiastic, refined, and moody. Additional meaning, someone you can talk to, a dreamer, a flirt, past life connections, melodrama. All right. And your last card, Ace of Earth. Significant abundance flows to you now. You may get a promotion, salary increase, or unexpected money. If you're starting a new business, the venture will likely succeed. 
The foundation for prosperity has been well laid. It's also a good time to make an investment. Consider any opportunities carefully. You may soon receive some important legal documents, contracts, or correspondence. Do you hear that? So be on the lookout for that, whatever that is, okay? Additionally, mean to this card, receipts of a gift, improving health, earning a degree, significant purchase, excellent luck. Wow. You go, Amy. And if you're not seeing it, you will. Amy, keep your positive, keep your thoughts positive, love, okay? Keep your thoughts positive. It's what you do from this day forth is going to determine everything, but you're on the right track. Keep your thoughts positive. So much love to you, my sister. I wish you all the best. I thank you all for your love and support in my channel. Okay? Without you all, I wouldn't be able to do this. Please know that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please make, okay, my dog's coming in here. She's tripping. But anyway, make sure if you like, subscribe. Okay, I appreciate it. As you see, I kept my word. I kept my word. I put the, I put the, um, I had posted this right here, as you see. Oh, it's getting ready to end anyway. I had posted this right here. Hold on. I had posted this right here, and it is for you, family, to make sure, okay, when you see it posted, okay, you jump on it now. Okay, I did this a week ago, and the nine were the ones that replied to my post, all right? So, anyway, I did it. I went ahead and did this on the 20th instead of the 21st because things come up. But I love you. Thank you, butterflies, for your love and supporting my channel. I thought I was going to finish before two hours were up. But I don't want to go past two hours because I start feeling a little fidgety. Energy work is very draining, okay? But I did this as a labor of love. So thank you all for your love and supporting my channel. Thank you for your donation for those who are able body, okay? Other than that, I'm not worrying about it. I get blessed in ways I think not, okay? It's all about being my sister's keeper, my brother's keeper. So thank you, butterflies. I will be back. Um, doing more videos, okay, as well as more readings like this, okay? So, bye for now.